Hi guys, I wanted to show you an upgrade of my hydrogen generator. This is a major upgrade from a video I made around a year ago of a, um, it was a single cell. It was basically this top part right here. Um, a single, this is a seven cell stack, PEM, proton exchange membrane. It's basically a fuel cell in reverse that produces pure hydrogen and oxygen from water. There's the water tank. A little bit of water comes out with the hydrogen into this tube. And I'll show you how I can get it back. I used to use a syringe to get it back into the water tank. But this was 230 to 250 cc's a minute. And I built it into this double decker, um, all clear acrylic um, double decker unit. So there's three more cells on the bottom. I've gotten more than one liter a minute of hydrogen and more than a half a liter a minute of oxygen. You can see there's hoses absolutely everywhere. So it's powered by, right now I'm using solar panels outside to run through this buck converter to get it down to 14 volts. Because um, proton exchange membranes, um, cells that use proton exchange membranes like to have two volts or less. When you start to exceed two volts, you can um, possibly damage them. So since there's seven in a stack and then these are all connected in parallel, then the voltage has to be 17. If they were in series, it would require 56 volts, at, at, which would be a lower current. It would be only 4.4 to 5 amps, which would be better. However, you can't control the individual cell voltage, voltages as well if you do it that way. So I've actually got, you see these little um, screws, little bolts. Um, they're all connected in parallel, all the positives, all the negatives. And this little buck converter can handle up to 20 amps. I just have this makeshift little fan for now held from moving with rubber stoppers uh, to keep it cool. When you do over 10 amps with this thing, you have to cool it. So anyway, um, I'll be right back and show you it in operation. Okay, so I've just plugged uh, the solar panels into right now it's providing 24 volts at, at a very high current into the buck converter and i i need i stand corrected i think i said 17 volts is what the cell stacks use i said that there's seven cells in a stack and they require two volts each so it's 14 volts not 17. so the fan is going this is not actually on yet it's providing no power so i like to ramp it up I like to let's see if it will focus there. Not showing up very well. All right, so let's just let it go all the way up to 20 amps if it wants. Well, let's go ahead and start it. So right now, at 12 volts, it's only taking seven and a half amps. You can see some activity has started. All right. So now, let's see. Let's turn up the voltage. Look at the, so it's taking over 200 watts now. Almost 18 amps. I'm gonna stop right there for now. So hydrogen is bubbling and carrying some water with it into this uh, narrow cylinder here. And oxygen and water are going back into the water tank. And then I don't think I explained this. These four holes in the bottom. I know I don't have all clear tubing. I, I really want to replace this latex tubing with all clear tubing so you could see. Um, well, you probably wouldn't see any movement in these anyway because these are the water intakes. Um, I'm sorry, water comes out of these four 
and feeds the, feeds the cells. It's very important. It has to be under a, a large column of water like that. So there's enough force to push the water into the cells. Because if they go dry, you'll fry them by um, having you know, two volts across each cell with, with no water would uh, definitely fry them. So, um, I'm gonna, and by the way, I'm going to collect, I'll show you uh, how I can collect gas into balloons. You can't put it under pressure, but I wanna show you something cool. So what I came up with, instead of using a syringe, like I mentioned before, to, I used to take the stoppers off and I would take a syringe and take this water, put it back into the water tank. Um, I have this, this tube is full of water right now and I have a little plastic valve here that's closed. They do sell water separators. I know they, they cost like around a hundred dollars or so, but this is my really simple version. I mean, I've got no moving parts, well, other than that cooling fan, but you know, you might be able to get a power supply that can provide power like this with no cooling fan. So this is a really cool thing. Actually, I can't do that yet. I have to have pressure um, on the hydrogen side to be able to push the water back through the tube into the tank. So I will have to uh, use two hands for that. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back now. So I've got my um, tripod so we can see the whole setup here and I can use both of my hands. So the hydrogen, like I said, is coming out of this side and I've got this little uh, aquarium too being connected into a rubber stopper. So I don't know if you can hear that, there's quite a bit of pressure, quite a bit of hydrogen coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and put a balloon on there. Right. This latex tubing is just heading into the uh, water tank and that's where I said the oxygen and water return come through that hose so I'm capturing it here and like I said that clamp is closed and there's water in the tube so there's no way the gases can mix and believe me I've tested this over and over I've um I can light the hydrogen and you just get a little fireball. Um, you don't get like a loud explosion. And I've taken the oxygen to have tried to light that and it won't light. It will obviously support combustion, but it's not flammable. So I know they're probably pretty pure. Actually, I'm not going to collect oxygen right now. I'm going to go ahead and oops, take that off of there because I'm going to show you the water transfer back into the other tank. So just loosen this. And the water's slowly going back in all on its own. I mean, I like this so much better. It's just all manual. Um, there's nothing to break except the cells themselves. Which, the, I mean, they have, they, I've, I've known people, the guy from the fuel cell store told me that he had, he has one on his desk that's been running literally for years. Alright, that should be good enough. Close that. So like I said, um, I'm getting about a liter a minute. Um, so. I'll come back in just a little bit when I when the hydrogen balloon is a little bit larger. All right, I'm back. It's been a few minutes. And you can see the balloon is a lot bigger now. Um, I wanted to say really quickly before I tie this balloon off, um, another good use of having pure hydrogen like this um, is that you could actually, I'm not sure if I would need a compressor or if these cells can put out enough pressure, but I would 
I was thinking the hydrogen could be compressed into a uh, propane tank and then used for cooking, but you would have to modify your burner in your propane grill uh, for the uh, mixture with oxygen with, or, or air, otherwise it's not going to work right. Um, and since if you're starting with a used propane tank, you can be sure there's no oxygen already in the tank, so it would be safe as long as you're sure that the gas you're producing is pure. So, uh, yeah, this, this didn't take long at all. Um, right now I'm pulling 19.75 amps. So that is more than a liter a minute. I calculated that it takes 19.1 amps to make a liter a minute. Um, it really takes seven times that in a single cell. So you divide it, the number of amps by seven, since there's seven cells in series in each one. All right, so. Now I'm going to do some experiments. That's really quick here. Let's get this oxygen out of the way. Over there. All right. So I haven't tried making a torch yet. I haven't tried mixing the oxygen with the hydrogen. Um, just I tried burning the hydrogen by itself. So take this off. And this little metal piece, little piece of tubing I had laying around. Okay. Oh, before I light it, just really quick. It didn't take long at all, did it? Um. Now put it in longer. That, the reason why it was so loud is because there was only a little bit of hydrogen in it. So it, um, with all the oxygen mixed in, it was more explosive. But this is just simply burning. And now I just lit. It's an invisible flame. It's, I'm not sure if you can see that. This is still burning, actually. Uh, not sure if you can see the flame on camera. One thing I could do is, oh there, when I blow it, you can see it. Very hard to extinguish. There we go. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you like my one liter a minute hydrogen generator. I wanted uh, this little bonus here. I've got... The power disconnected here. It's not connected to the solar panels anymore. And oh, it's kind of starting. This fan right here is running backwards through the buck converter off of hydrogen. It's not actually getting the hydrogen out of the balloons. It's not, it's not made to be a fuel cell. Wow. <laughs> it's made to run in reverse as an electrolyzer, but it is using up some of the hydrogen and oxygen from the cell. It's pretty cool. I noticed it won't deflate the balloons. It'll stop way before then. Even if the line is not blocked with water. Actually, neither are blocked with water right now. They're exposed to the gas, but there must be water in the lines or something. It's, it's not made to be a fuel cell, so this won't run for very long. All right, thanks for watching.